What's up guys, Brad back with a new video today. On the channel, I'm going to be giving you my January transfer window wish list. So, I'm not going to try and dawdle mess about because it's going to be a longer video. Uh, like the season review, I'm going to go in depth with it and talk my opinion and talk what I have to say really. So, without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it. Just quickly before I do the... Um, I'm just going to quickly tell you right now, I'm telling you straight, um, I just want the comments on this video to be about this video and this video only. Um, if there's anything relating to the Stoke game, unless it is about the performance in the Stoke game and the football in the Stoke game, it will be deleted. I'm not messing about guys, I, I'm not going to argue with you in the comments about anything that happened on um, against Stoke on Wednesday. Um, if you want to argue about it, go on Facebook or Twitter, there's plenty of posts about it. But not on my videos, thank you very much. So, yeah, that's cleared up. Let's get into the January transfer window wish list. So, for starters, I think it's clear that we need to try a new goalkeeper. After Stoke, anyways. So, Schofield's an option, but is he good enough is what a lot of people are asking. So, if we're not going to use Schofield, we may as well buy a new one or send Grabara back and loan another one. Because... Grabara's distribution is god awful and he keeps making mistakes and costing us um, important positions in the game. Four points against Wigan and Millwall, and then that on Stoke could have been a different game had that goal not gone in. But yeah, he's costing us points, and at this level, it's like Calvary said, he's young, but that can't be happening at this level of football. It's a championship, it's not conference it's it's a prestigious league in England and the second most prestigious league in England so you know some of these teams have just come down from the Premier League with those being one of them and you can't really be having performances like that and making mistakes like that in um in a league like this against teams like Stoke I wouldn't have said that before the game after seeing what they had to offer it were a different story really and um, Stoke absolutely battered us uh, we couldn't seem to get going. We we got two goals. One of them was a good set piece, and the other one was just lucky bounce. End of the day, you need a bit of home luck, and we got that. And then we didn't use it to our advantage, and we bottled it. I think the ref missed a foul on Hog, but apart from that, all their goals were perfect, legitimate goals. So can't complain. So I think we also need a replacement centre back because. Elfix out for loads of months and Stankovic and Shinla are a partnership now and if one of those gets injured then it really is curtains for us so we need definitely need to get a, a backup centre half whether it's just a young guy from like I don't know Man City or something or you know like a Premier League club where they've got a youngster that they want to try out in the championship but it'd be a good signing for us and I think I think we should do it because the two centre halves I've got at the moment, if one of them, it's like say if one of them gets injured, then we've got a problem there because we haven't got someone to cover. And it's not exactly handy when you're 20th in the league, I think we are. So yeah, we need we need to fix that. And because defensively we're already lacking. So if one of those gets injured, then I keep oh, I'm repeating myself, but if one of those gets injured then the the defence that's bad will become worse and we can't really be having that to be honest so yeah definitely need a replacement centre half so that being said I think um, yeah we need to we need to fix that because if one of those gets injured it's not going to help us at all moving on though uh, Cowley said he wants to get a left back which I agree with because Brown's still quite young and if he goes in a bad run of form we've got no one to replace him with Simpson, however, is an experienced fullback, so it's less like it, um, likely for him to have a bad spell of games. But and if Brown gets injured again or suspended by some sort of weird reason, then again it's a problem. We haven't got anyone to cover him. We're gonna have to play O'Brien left back again, which isn't handy or great for us. So it doesn't really work in our favour. So a replacement left back again, vital. We need it. Moving further up the pitch, I think it's quite clear to me and many other town fans that we still haven't replaced Moy yet. We need to. O'Brien is not the same player as Moy. O'Brien's a ball winner, he's a quicker player. He's he's a player that could play on the wing, but he's just not suited to that because his, his natural position is centre mid. But Moy's a player maker. Um, we're yet to get replaced him with a player maker because Chilabar is not a player maker. 
Um, Bakuna is not really a playmaker, and O'Brien is not really a playmaker. So, yeah, we need to replace Moy. We still haven't done it. Um, if we don't do it in this window, then it's a relegation battle. Like, well, we are already are in one, but if we don't replace Moy, it's a guaranteed relegation battle we could face going down. But yeah, in my opinion, we, we, it's, it's vital that we get a playmaker because we've still not got one and you can tell in the lack of chances we create on a weekly basis. Um, if we had that playmaker games like against Wigan and against lower league sides would be would be burying them because we'd be able to create the, create the chances that our well, informed strikers would be able to um, score with but we don't give them that many chances. Grant usually finds a goal out of nothing and Mooney will score the odd header or so, or top corner one, but it's very rare that they're going to do that because they hardly ever have the ball and if they do, they've got to run like 20 yards to get near the goal with it, so uh, playmaker, vital, we, we'll be lost without one for the rest of the season, every team's got something similar to it and if they haven't, they're down at the bottom of the table and that's the reason for it. Um, so yeah, we, we need to replace my bad leg because we miss him so much like, as a player in the middle. It is so clear to see that there's a massive gap there where my used to that my used to fill. So that's it for my. Uh, also in midfield, I think we need a number ten, which Cali wants to sign. Uh, hence why I put Marcus Madison on the thumbnail because he's a player that I think we got linked with a while ago, but then. We didn't even pursue him, but he's he's too good for League One, according to a lot of people. I've never seen him play, but a lot of people on social media have said he's a good player and he'd he'd, he'd be good for us. So, and that they're more for it. Um, I'm all for a, a League One signing if he's proven to be good already. Uh, if we're gambling it, then it's not so good. But if he if he's a good player to begin with, then I suppose it's worth giving him a try. Uh, apparently, Reese Brown, our cam that we've not used all year, is um, going to Peter Brown alone. So maybe a, a swap balloon deal might be um, might be one of Cowley's ideas. Uh, I reckon that'd be a good start to the window. Uh, I reckon it'd be, be handy for us and it'd help us because then we'd get sort of a playmaker as such, but an attacking one. Then I suppose that sort of works, but we'd still need a, another midfielder that can do it. But it's a start, put it that way, it, it def it'll definitely put us on the right track. So yeah, it'd be great for our season if we could get a good number 10, a good cam. But moving on to the next positions where I think we need to improve. These are for me the most most crucial ones, is left mid and right mid. We're absolutely lost there, we had to play O'Brien and um, Bakuna on the wings on, uh, no. Bakuna and Grant on the wings, yeah, yeah. But we're having to play players out of position and it's not really helping us at all. Like, It's not great. And then when we went to 4 2 we ended up playing O'Brien left mid and Bakuna right mid. But it's just not it's not what we want to be doing. We can't play centre mids on the wing. Uh, not week in, week out when they're not made for that position. So we need to bring in a quality left mid and a quality right mid. None of this non-league stuff, none of this... League 2 stuff, maybe League 1, they've got some decent players in there, I don't like Championship, maybe even a Young Prem 1, I don't mind that, but none of this um, none of this non-league stuff or League 2 stuff, it's not proven, it's not good enough, at the end of the day, at the end of the day this is a, it's a hard league to compete in, and we need players who want to play for the club, not for the paycheck, and we need players who are willing to give it their all, and who are good enough and will give it their all and that's really as simple as it bows down to like we just need players that can compete and we'll give it their all and we'll be we'll be fine but we need to sign some good wingers otherwise Mounier's going to get no service and everyone will get on his back Grant will get no service but he, he doesn't really need as much service to score but Mounier's a target man so he kind of does but our strikers won't score as much unless we've got good wingers to provide them good attacking through balls, crosses, passes, etc. Until we fix that problem, we'll, um, we'll be stuck in the same row of winning one week, losing one week, winning other. And I don't know if that's form that we'll stay up in. I really don't. 
Attacking wise, I don't really think we need another striker. Maybe like a centre forward sort of position, a guy that could play up front or on the wing or in the middle cam. Maybe like a versatile player like that. Like he's sort of Fernando Forestieri, but I wouldn't want him at the club. Like that sort of player. A one who can be versatile and play anyway, really in attack. A player like that would be handy for us as well because if injuries come our way, which they have been doing, He'll, he'll um, slot right into the squad for us, so yeah, that that really does um, that really does help out um, help out in in case of injuries, really, yeah. So I've done it all position um, by position now, so yeah, you know what positions I think we should get. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I don't really want us to be um, spending money on players that. Aren't going to commit themselves to the club, both like passion-wise and like performance-wise. I I don't want not, um, non-league players. I don't really want League Two players. I want us to f for 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 the first time in a while. I want us to spend some money on some quality-proven players because if we gamble it abroad again, we we were on the risk of spending ten million on another and Benz or a Diacabi. Don't get me wrong. They, they they had good games, few good games, but they did have some good games. But they're not good enough, and they haven't got the um, the attitude for it, for this league, for this club. So they'll probably be leaving in January. I wish them all the best, but they're just not good enough for us. Th these players that we're signing, that we're spending the money on, and I hope we spend quite a bit of money this w window because we need to do it. I hope these players, they've got passion. They will play for the shirt, play for the club, and they'll. They'll give it their all performance-wise. I understand players have bad games, but like, if you have a bad game every week, then you're you're not having a bad game. You're just not good enough. That's really as simple as it is, and there's no other way of putting it really. So yeah, I just want us to, I want to change from going cheap all the time, doing everything on the cheap, and everyone will say, oh yeah, we got Colin Grant on the cheap. What do you mean? I was like, yeah, but him, one one in a thousand to get him that good being cheap. But that's like one of five that the scout got correct. And that's not really good enough when you look at it, is it? So we'll see what happens. I've got faith in Carly and we'll see what he brings in. Hopefully um, Phil will buy into his idea. Uh, hopefully he does. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say now. Again, thank you for the support on the previous videos. Um... And thanks for most of you for keeping the comment section on the previous video sensible. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. If you know what I'm on about, you know what I'm on about. But, um, but yeah, um, I just, I'm just praying that we actually get someone proven. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all I've got to say. I'm just praying and hoping. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. Comment down below any players you think we should sign. Uh, any new systems we should try anyone who should leave and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're extremely close to 700 um, 700 subs so yeah achieving that as soon as possible would be great stuff indeed anyway guys all the best thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one